Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're going to take a look at Transport Fever 2. Uh, you can see here some cool vehicles. These are all not real vehicles because this truck is not a real truck. Though it looks a little bit like a Scania DAF man hybrid. Um, over here we have the L100 from Lockheed, uh, also known as the C-130 in the military variant. Uh, the L100 is the mm, cargo slash civilian version. We've got a Japanese bullet train, uh, and we have a boat of some sort over here. Uh, this game is all about connecting cities together and connecting resources and earning money. Uh, it is a very fun game to play. Haven't uh, done anything but the first couple campaigns, so we're going to run through campaign number run one tonight, and we're going to play around with the trains and signals a little bit, uh, and I can show you what this game is about. We're going way back into the 19 or 1850s uh, during the gold rush, so let's go ahead and get that mission started. Mankind is constantly creating amazing new inventions. Get involved in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world. Let's do it. The island of Java, no, we're America, gonna do in the midst of the 19th century. In the Nevada Territory, where until recently only a handful of buffalo grazed, yep. nowadays it's all hustle and bustle. Actually, no, it's still Beyond a lot of Sierra, desert. Sierra and near the Carson River, Gold has been found. Gold! There's supposed to be loads of it. All you need to do is dig it up. Anyone who keeps at it hard enough will be richly rewarded. So this is the gold-rushed era. Oh, my God, stop talking. This guy's accent grates on me for some reason. He's got a really weird accent. It's like he's trying to sound American West, and yet he sounds English... He sounds like a German guy that learned to speak English in England and then is trying to be somebody from the West. I don't, it just is not working for me. But anyway, let's go ahead and restart this mission. I've already done it once, but we're going to do it together. And now he's not going to talk. He's been talking before while we were doing this, but now he's not. Um, it's all hustle and bustle. Well, no, it's not still hustle and bustle. Mostly it's a big, empty desert. <laughs> Uh, this is the Mining Miracle, and he's going to tell us what to do. We have several different uh, missions to accomplish here. Uh, they're basically teaching us how to build depots and set up traffic lines. And I really dig this game, though. I'll tell you what. I haven't even gotten into the Welcome era where there's cars. Territory, it's all, it's all uh, horse-drawn carts so far. Want to get rich? Yep. Then you're in just the right place. Dead Horse Canyon. Gold Rush Fever holds sway in Virginia City. And you, you lucky devil, you've won the mining rights for a promising claim in a poker game with the Red Dog Saloon. See the accent? It's really weird. <laughs> Soon you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a cat's head. He kind of sounds like Mel Gibson, too, though, so maybe he's Australian. Thanks to cleverness and luck at cards, you have a gold mine all your own. Oh, yeah. A former owner, a gal at the saloon by the name of Susie, Susie who plays a lousy hand of poker, Terrible. already took care of the groundwork. And a, a practical woman, she left the necessary equipment behind, too. Sweet. Now all you have to do is to find the mine. Gold! Get right. an overview and find out where the riches lie. Okay, so they want us to rotate the camera 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have to do these camera rotation things. So once again, this is the tutorial phase, and it'll we'll get it done quick. Um, let's see, it's down the same time. Why does the rotation take so long? Okay, move the camera. There we go. And we need to tilt the camera. Oh, wrong button. Whoa. We need to tilt the camera. Uh, that's middle mouse button. Discover the entrance to the tunnel. Okay, and all you gotta do when they when they ask you to discover things or find things, all you gotta do is click on the question mark. So, what a promising claim! Even though only a few boulders have been mined so far, that's no reason to lose heart. You'll just build a station where the horse carts can be packed with logs. Okay, so we have one station already. Uh, this is our lumber area over here. This is where. In the game, as you zoom out, you can see things that are needed. It doesn't really show. Let's see. I think this arrow means that the air, the logs come out here. 
and then when you have this detent here, it means the logs need these guys need logs. So look for that detent. That's the only thing I can figure. When you yeah, see that it like shows like a detent right there, and it's like boy, you need logs. And here this is this is saying with this arrow here, it's the other end of it saying hey, this is where the logs come from. I don't. It's weird symbology to me, but that's the way they did it. So we're gonna build this uh, buildings, and we're gonna go to a truck station, and we're gonna put that right here. Explain to the sort of thick-skulled driver which route he should take. Okay, or just say make a line. So we got a new line. We're gonna we're gonna name this. Um, uh, we're in Virginia City, so Verge uh, Log Logging uh, Logging to um, Mine. So Vir Virginia Log Virginia City Logging to Mine Route. There we go. That's not confusing. I can spell too. There's not a P in route or root, depending on where you're from. And so let's go ahead and click on that new line. Yep. And then we're going to go click to add stations. We're going to add a station. You're going to click on that station. That's where it starts. And it's going to end over there. Now, there's and now we have to, to be a small depot to park the horse yep. drawn carts we too. Need a depot. And we're going to say this is a road depot or a tram. We need a road depot because we're making the trucks. And we can put that right here. Everything's Yay. all set. Yay. Now, all you have to do is to get hold of a cart to transport the wood. Now, I, I always double everything he tells me to do because I'm a jerk and I have millions of dollars. Uh, so we have this. Uh, we click on the depot, and we're going to go to buy vehicles. And there's several ways to do this, but this is I'm kind of doing the way they're telling us to do it. We're going to buy two vehicles. Boop. All right. A sturdy vehicle. And then we're going to sign these to the route. Get started. It there won't we go. be long before it's possible to dig deeper. Well then, good luck. Allocating the vehicles to the line. Task completed. So now we should see these guys on the horse and carts coming out in a... So we're paused. Let's play. Yeah, we know. So I think they have to wait. This is kind of cool. You can click on your cart and see there. You can manage the vehicle. You can go in here and we can change it to a different line or, or sell it or do it, send it back to the depot to get upgraded. Um, so it gives you all kinds of options there. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can also see uh, there's a camera you can ride on the on the device or whatever. Not the device, but the unit. Uh, we can slide around it, take a close look, but this is like the follow me camera. So, whoops. A little bit goofy graphics, but you know what? It's pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is there's no, it's, instead of zooming in and out, the W and S keys make it go up and down. So you have to like, I haven't figured out how to do it. You have to go like look away from it and then go out and then look back. And then you can, that's how you get closer or further. It's a little bit nonsensical on how they did that. But right, though this guy's got logs. You can see over there, there's a big pile of logs happening and we're going to escape out of that camera. Uh, one thing I do like, though, is the graphics scale on this game. You don't have, like, something where you're, like, way far away and then you get close and it changes the graphics. You can see everything. It's all 3D. No matter how, how high, high you pan, you just get closer and closer in. But the details are really nice. And this is where you can get all the way down to street level and see the people walking along. And the graphics look really good. Um, I know a lot of people have been complaining. And, once again, I'm not... I've never played this game before, so version 2 is, I just got version 1, like two or three days before this came out, and didn't even really have time to play it. Uh, version 2 came out, you know, Thursday, so I've only had a couple days to play this, and, and people are complaining because I guess this game is pretty much just the same thing as version 1, but with better graphics. Uh, and some new countries and stuff to go to, but uh, a lot of people aren't super happy with it. Uh, I think it's great, personally, and that's coming from somebody who hasn't played it before. So I'm, I'm excited with it. I think it's a nice product, and it runs well. And So let's see what the next instruction is. I think that we're, we just have to wait till they deliver the log so we can speed up time a little bit so they deliver. Here they go. And you can see the horse going up that hill nice and slow because it's a big hill. I do like the way that they get bothered by gravity. He's going to go around and deliver. There we go. Ha! <laughs> Not everything that glitters is gold. No, you're right. Maybe your poker partner was sharper than you thought. Uh-oh. Despite all the hardship, the mine only brings in a few chunks of silver ore. Oh, boy. At best, you ought to get rid of it before it ruins you. Luckily, new greenhorns constantly get stranded in Virginia City. 
who you can peddle that confounded pit to for good money. For good money. So, oh, yeah. you got rid of the silver mine for a decent amount. Yep. Time to invest this money in a lucrative venture. Okay, so we're going to... There's an excellent opportunity. Build a train. All the ore from the mine must be transported to the silver mills down by the river. Oh, he does. The railroad that takes Cargo. over the transport would be a promising venture. I hate the way... Th line up with the street, will you? Mm. Sloppy. Okay, you need to have it line up with the street. The other thing, too, is they give you one that's too long. There we go. The terrain is treacherous and requires a few very twisted curves. Now they want us to finish the track, so there's our there's our station, and the 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 ore the silver ore will start piling up there. Um, so then we go over here, we pick our track building tool, and we're gonna pull this here. It's gonna go right through the mountain there, and we're gonna connect it up. And now we're gonna go around this pass here, and uh, Nopi, what the heck are you doing, dog? Now, we're going to get fancy. I'm going to go over and beyond the Call of Duty here. Um, and this is where we're going to close this off because uh, I'm, I'm being naughty and I'm doing more than they asked us to do. So, uh, But I want to because I like doing this. So, uh, What did you say, honey? You just like being naughty. I do. We're going to configure this and we're going to add a second train line in over here. Here. And here. And then we're going to go out of this, and we're going to go back to the track tool. And we're going to run this here. And we're going to connect that up to the first line right there. And let's see. Why isn't it giving me a check? Connect the markers to the same color. Hmm. Uh, maybe it won't let us do it right now. Uh, I, we must have to wait until we finish everything else. So it's locking me out, which sucks, but we'll fix that. I'm going to make a, you'll see, I'm going to make a multiple team track there, and we're going to put some sidings in, and you'll get to see, I'm going to run two trains to do the silver Build ore. Build a railroad route that rapidly transports all the ore to the valley. So we now have our line completed. There's already a train station over on this end. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this, and we're going to um, go to new line, and we're going to add a new line. This is going to be the, uh, search for line, we're going to call this, uh, Verge to Cars, and uh, we're going to call it uh, Silver Silver Snake. No, Silver 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 or Root. Okay, uh, and then we're going to click on Add Stations, and we're going to add. Oops, no, Add Stations. We're going to add Carson City, and then we're going to move out here. Right? Did it add it? Didn't add it. Come on. There we go, Carson City, and we're going to take that over from, i got to find it, I'll get out of this, thank you, All right, we're going to rotate the camera up, and zoom out, and we're going to add, add a station, and we're going to add that. A there respectable railroad calls for a proper railroad yard. Yard. <laughs> Create a railroad yard. Arg. Uh. He doesn't sound like a pirate. He's just such a weird narrator. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so now we're going to build this depot. This is, of course, we always you have to build depots for everything, you know, so the trains are no exception. You a need to truly well-done structure. Now it just needs to be connected. Yeah, it does. Connect it right there. Check. It's high time to buy a beautiful locomotive together with a few freight cars. Now let's see if they'll let us connect this now so we can finish our rail line. Because I actually like to buy two trains. If Nope, they won't. God dang it. I hate when they lock stuff out. Okay, so we're going to buy uh, one train for now, and then we'll add a second one in. Sorry, my neighbor is putting, looks like they're installing carpet in their house. It's, so if you hear hammering in the background, it's because my neighbor next door to me is adding carpet into their apartment. Okay, so we have a three-car train. That's all we're allowed to buy. I'm going to have two of those. So, um, What a handsome iron horse. Time to send it on its maiden journey. There she goes. Okay. And we're running. And there she comes out. Toot toot.
riding the high iron. This is the exciting part of the tutorial when we get to watch the train. Now, once again, this is fun. I like doing this watch. So we're going to hop on the train. And I cheat a little bit. I'm going to slide myself back and go down a little bit and slide over. And look, the graphics are almost as good as Train Sim 2020. Not Train Sim World, but Train Sim. <laughs> you build your own routes, or maybe trains with a Z. So arriving at the station, you'll see that there's one box of gold ore at the station right now. That will fill up as the mine gets busy uh, producing ore. But you can see, uh, uh, let's hop out of this camera. You can see at the station, the mine, the the ore actually builds up on the platform. So you can see here there's crates of ore, and these will fill up more and more. And you make a lot of money for these trains, so you'll make some of this money back. So let's go ahead and make it. Second, can they let us? Are they letting us do this yet? Nope, we're still locked. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to sit here and wait for the ore train to go through before I can do anything more, which sucks, but we're locked. So, he's delivering like a half a train load of ore. <laughs> Yay. See, there's already one art there in the station waiting to come back. So, uh, I will be right back. Uh, we'll continue this once they're done. Great. Now I'm going to have to break this up. I had to. Press the wrong button. Stop my recording. God dang it. So we're almost to Carson City. Riding the, the joyful, joyful express of one car, of, half car of silver ore. On a three car train because we're completely wasteful. We're going to turn this into a thriving railroad line. Look at the scenery on the other side there. What a cool valley. Yay! Thanks to your railroad, silver smelting is moving fast and furious. All sorts of fine ladies and I find out about the needs of your future passengers. Okay, so they want us to click on the layer thing, and what we got to do is we need to go back to Virginia City, and we're going to click on the. Nope, that's the garage. Townhouses are divided into three townhouses are divided into three land uses. A layer shows the three areas. Your services are needed to the same degree everywhere in town. Yep. So, task completed, activating a layer. Okay. I don't know how to read that or what it means, but they want us to make bus buses. So, uh, we're going to do an extra stop, too, because I have a secret plan, but we're going to put a bus stop in here. And then it's going to go here. And then it's going to go there. And we're going to all head the same direction. And then I'm going to make a little surprise. We're going to have another one here. And we're going to have one here at the terminus. There's going to be five bus stops. The last one is going to service a soon-to-arrive uh, train station. So put that one there. And uh, so we're going to be putting... I'm going to be putting in a passenger service station here close by this bus stop so people can... Let's see, Road Depot, Tram Depot, Streets. Can I get to Rails yet? Nope, that got me blocked off again. Uh, okay, so we're done doing that. Hooray. Oh, shoot, I screwed this up big time. I think we were supposed to do it in Carson City. But that's cool, because we're going to do that there anyway, so that's there. We'll, have the, we'll start the bus running. They want us to build in Carson, and I totally forgot about that. Carson. Uh, where's the train station in Carson? There is none yet. They'll build us a passenger station here, too, automatically. I don't know where that's going to come in, so I'm not going to build yet. But we have, let's see, we're starting by the truck depot. Do one that way. We're going to do one this way, and we're going to do one there. Make sure your coaches don't miss any stops. Okay, so. Establish a line. Okay, so now we're going to go to our line tool. New line. Carson City Bus Line. Okay. And we're going to click on Add Station. We're going to add 5th Street. 
All right, nope. Add station, come on. Fifth Street. And then 12th Street. And Build then a depot where Street. the horses can be hitched up and the coaches can wait. Um, I would imagine we're going to start there. Once you build the depot, it doesn't really matter because they all come from the same place. So I would say, like, the, once they're out and running, they don't ever go back to the depot again. I'm almost thinking I'm going to build a depot here. Road depot. Because we need trucks. Eventually they're going to have them. You'll see. But I think that we need to build a depot um, here. Purchase a few coaches with horses so that you can get started. Okay, so we're going to exit this tool. And we're going to click on this. And we're going to pick on our mm, buy vehicles. And we're going to buy three of these. So Three. Cool. And then we're going to assign those three to the Carson City bus line. Great. There we go. The first passengers are already waiting. Good, they're already waiting, Arg. They're already waiting. All right, so uh, the train station hasn't arrived yet. I will add the train station as a stop. The customer, not customer, Um, once again, they give us a free train station from Reno. Or not free, but we have to build one from Reno to Carson City. Once we put that one in place, I'll also put a bus stop there uh, because it's important to have bus stops nearby. We've already done this. We have to wait for passengers, so we might as well come over here, and we're also going to do the same thing here. We're going to create a new line, and we're going to say new line, and we're going to call this the Virginia City Bus Line. Notice we used all caps this time because I'm completely inconsistent as usual. That's bothering me. <laughs> Anal Carson City Bus Line. They bust the line. Whoa. <laughs> the Territorial oh. Enterprise reports. A beast is up to no good in the area. According to eyewitnesses, it leaped from tree to tree, was at least ten feet tall, had a shaggy black pelt, and enormous feet. Now ask the reporter what it's all about. Okay. Uh, we're going to do three of those, so I need to do buy two more, please. And we're going to take these, and we're going to make a bus line. This is going to be the Virginia City bus line. This line has no stops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we need to edit the line. And we're going to go to Virginia City bus line, and a station. Nope, not that. Bus line. Add a station. And we're going to go here. And then here. And then here. And then here. And then here. Ah, oh, there's my bus line. Okay, and so there we go. And these guys are on uh, duty now, so let's close out of here. We should see taxis heading out of the depot. Make sure that they're signed to that right one, though. Okay, there they go. The reporter, a certain Mr. Clemens, has revealed his source to you. An old good-for-nothing by the name of Sam Hawkins. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be in the saloon in Virginia City. Wait, Samuel Clemens? Is, are we having a play on the a of shots of Huck Finn? Before he comes up with the truth. Okay. The good man was happy to provide information. The monster got a few feet taller with each whiskey you bought him. Mm -hmm. Word has it that it gobbles up whole cows and... Picks the remains out of its teeth with a wagon tongue. Oh, <laughs> gobble, Our gobble, gobble. thinks it's hanging around near the Ponderosa Ranch, if he's not mistaken. It's my favorite steakhouse. Now, old Cartwright and his son didn't take too kindly to your visit to the Ponderosa Ranch. <laughs> but <Bonanza. laughs> Apparently you're not the first to be hot on the monster's heels. The rancher pa. claims that dozens laid siege to their land, but just when he was about to run them off, they hurried away towards Lake Tahoe with a paper hot off the presses in their hands. I had no idea I was going to grow up to be Big Hoss, but I did. Here we go. The Territorial Enterprise reports. The wild man is dead. His body was committed to the waters of Lake Tahoe, where it will sink to a depth of over 600 feet. 
be encased motionless in a block of ice and shrink to the size of a small child due to the high pressure. Well, guess not much can be done about that. All right, hooray. Disillusionment. <laughs> okay. I don't know what we got for doing that, but we got something, I guess. Uh, soon to be, there's a train line story coming in here, but we haven't gotten it yet. Um, they're also going to make us build a depot. Once again, I've played this a couple times, so... Uh, while we're waiting, let's see if we can play with our trains yet. Nope, they still don't let us do that, so we're going to have to wait until five passengers get transported. Uh, I'll be back. Oh, you can see here, too, we have, we're have we going to need a second train for sure because we have stuff building up on the platform, but we can't do anything yet. So, All right, see you guys in a little bit. Nothing more than a dreary two-bit town. A magnificent little city now flourishes. Thanks to your transportation services. Oh, thank you. The locals even call it the miracle of Carson City. Oh, wow. Oh, more people want to try their luck there. Obstacles shouldn't be put in their way. Get into the passenger business. Your tickets will be the hottest item in town. Hot ticket. Make sure that the rest of the world is finally connected to Carson City. Okay. A veritable boom town. So here we go. We're going to add, before we do, they're going to have us do these, uh, we're going to connect Carson City to to Wino. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go... The, see, they won't let us do anything else aside from what they're making us do, which I hate. I hate that. Uh, but that's just how it goes. That's the way... Oops, wrong one. Cargo Terminus, Passenger Terminus. Sorry about that. For some reason, the recording stopped, and I put the station in, and I, pulled, I built a depot. I also added two bus stations and added a line in so that the buses would bring people to the train station. So I've taken care of all that footwork, and then I sneezed on camera. Apologize for that. Uh, but anyway, I, I just placed these and added the train line in. So that's all you missed in that little brief, weird moment. Um, Virginia, why can't... I'm having a hard time, though. So for some reason, it won't let me buy any trains. And Oh! <laughs> And we're gonna add, it's just, I have to add three cars, which is two more than we need, but... Time to inaugurate the line from Reno to Carson City, the town built on silver. Okay, so we need to build a line, a new line, and we're going to call this uh, Carson City to Reno Train. Click on Add Stations. We have one station. And that's it. And we have our second station here. Now, we need to take our um, train, and we need to assign that train to that line. We're off and running. Yay! Everyone's dead set on riding your beautiful railroad. My beautiful railroad. It is beautiful. Okay, now what? Oh, we have to wait for the transport passengers. This is where, hopefully, we have both of our tools now, so we should be able to There's do... There's firewood up in Glenbrook that'll get oh. the steam engines and the silverworks me, puffing me, me, real me, nice. Me, 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 me. But watch out that you don't cross paths with the cartwrights from the Ponderosa Ranch. Well, they're not the kind of folks to tangle with. Okay. You barely got away from the cartwright boys. Now get a respectable load of logs down to the valley as fast as possible before the ranchers come back again. I gotta say this, there are no ranchers and there is no problem, so don't just ignore his rhetoric. He's full of garbage. Um, so one thing that we could do, and this is this is where, last time I had trucks doing it and it took forever. Um, but I don't know if, they're, they, if we have to do trucks or if we can do whatever we want. And my thought is this. It takes them forever to get up this hill and back down again on the road with the road wagons. So I almost feel like we could build some rails if we put a um, cargo terminus in here. And then put cargo a cargo a rail cargo up here and then have the train come down. That's gonna require let's see. I think we have to do the trucks. I'm pretty sure they make us do trucks, though. So let's see. Hang on. Deliver logs. So deliver more logs, right? What does it want us to do? Deliver more logs. 
can we can we do a train depot? I just want to see. Hang on. Cargo terminus. Yeah, we could. Oh. Let's rotate this like here. And no matter what you do, it's going to be expensive because this. <laughs> Ruh, ruh, ruh. It's not. It's not letting me straighten this out, which is annoying. Sorry, the dogs are barking. So my question is, will this automatically get logs from this place? And it should theoretically, yes. Quiet. My goodness. Hold on. Okay, so I placed the train station there, and. This is the only case where I think running a separate line is beneficial. Oh, look at this. Thank you. My wife is looking exasperated. I will be right back. All right, so here's where I get kind of anal or crazy or whatever. Um, we're going to add a passenger train, and this is all, like, out of the mission specs, but we're going to do it anyway, so we might as well do it now. We're going to add a second line into this station. This is going to be for passenger. Uh, and then we're going to go to our track tool, uh, which is here. And I'm going to run this out of the station and over to here. We're going to join that there. And then this is going to, ouch, I know I made a click noise. Over here, let's see, where where is our interconnector? I want to do, let's see, if this runs down, I want to run one down here. This is going to be for the cargo. That's going to run around here, back this way to this depot, and also it's going to split and go that way. So, um, first I need to get this down. Holy crap. Well, that takes care of that problem. Uh, uh, sort of doesn't really take care of my problem. I want this to go to this station over here. That's got to be an eight million dollar. Wow. This was a bad idea. Uh, let's see if we go. wonder if we can change the height by... That's one thing I haven't done yet, so... Oh, hold on, folks. All right, so after futzing about, I'm realizing that this is a really bad idea. Here's the issue. When we pull the train track, and of course, I, you know, looking from here, it looks great. When you actually get down onto level terms, uh, like where you rotate the camera down, you can see that the train's actually at quite an elevation above the valley below. So we have uh, no options, really, to get the train down without being super, like, $8 million worth of expense. Even if we go for the, the, you know, we'd have to take the train way out here like that. Um, we do have a second mode where we can do this. This would be less expensive. Wow, that looks so dangerous. Um, and it's colliding with something. It says collision. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, you can't do that with these. Okay, so you have to do the bridge. Um that satisfies that. Though maybe you could do segments where you do dirt, bridge, dirt, bridge. But the whole point is this. This is going to cost a fortune to get this done. And we have to go way out and around. It's taking my plans like way beyond where I wanted to go. So we're going to can that idea, uh, and we're not going to do that. And I'm just going to bulldoze this train station. It was a bit of a waste of money, but life will go on. So we're just going to, unfortunately, have to do the truck depot thing uh, and use – carts to get the the trucks down the hill so let's go ahead and buy uh truck stop and we're gonna uh, let me just get closer here we're gonna rotate this around till it snaps in with the road uh it's not snapping once again Okay, well, we'll just put it here like that. Perfect. Not, but okay. I don't like the way that they don't have, like, minute movements on the, the 
But anyway, it's just being me being fussy. Whoa, what happened here? No, okay, okay. Uh, so we have two truck stations, one there, and there's one right next to here. Um, and so we're going to start our line. We're going to make a new line. We're going to call this... Um, Pon nope. Ponderosa logging route. And we're going to click to add stations. Add a station here. That's our first station. And station number two is right here next to Carson City Cargo Station, Carson City Central. This is not Carson City Central. This is going to be called Ponderosa logging route. We're going to call that, yeah. I want to name this something different. Car there we go. Carson City Central. This is going to be called Ponderosa Truck Depot. Depot. Okay. And enter. So there's that. So the trucks are taken care of. Now what we have to do is we have to get in here, and we're going to have to buy a couple um, horse-drawn carriages. We're going to buy a pair of those. And we're going to add a route. Boop, boop. And we're going to make these go to Carson City Wait, where did Ponderosa logging route is what I want? What? Why is that not available? Ponderosa. Sometimes this game does weird things. I'm I'd set the logging route, right? Let's take a look. Where's our logging route? Uh, Ponderosa logging route. Wait, these are red for some reason. Why? Station types don't match, e.g. bus and train stations. I must have grabbed something wrong. So let's do this. Ponderosa Truck Depot, right? And we're going to add a station. Oh, I bet you I picked this bus one by mistake. That's what happened. Okay, so now we're going to go here, and we're going to pick our logging vehicles. And we're going to go ahead and Ponderosa logging route. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so now we're good. Uh, we have, we'll have two horse-drawn carts coming out of here in a second. And once we start with the play button. So, Ponderosa's taken care of. But I will continue my evil empire here. Um, first things first, we're going to add a second train, uh, second ore train to double our income from Carson City. So we've got the first one, uh, fudged in here, but it's not done. Uh, so we're going to go here. And we're going to add a second train. Like I see, look at all that cargo building up. And we're going to go here. Actually, we don't. I don't think we need. Do we? Yeah, we should. Uh, we're going to pull this here. And the second train will not grab ore from the first platform, unfortunately. But uh, we'll deal with that. Uh, so we have that there. The trains come out of the station, and they're going to. Run through this area here. That way we have access to our depot. And then right here after the depot, we're going to split the track. I mean, you could do this before the track, too, if you want to get real fancy. But I'm just going to I'm gonna split it here. And we're going to go ahead and follow this route along. Uh, come on. There we go. I just want these to run side by side. Come on. What the? What the devil? No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, you son of a biscuit. You know what? We're going to take this back. I'm not happy with the way this is running. Okay. Uh, what we're doing is we're making some sidings so that the trains can pass each other. And they actually will do this. Uh, the pretty neat thing about this is that uh, there's a signaling system that we can put in. Oh, we'll just do that. Whatever. And we'll rejoin over here. We'll see how what we did. It looked like it did something weird, but nope, it's good. Okay. And then we're going to come out to this side here. Once we get past the mountain, we can reopen the line again and make a second line. And we do need to do this because we're not only going to be running our freight service around here, but we're also going to be running a, a passenger train so we're going to have three trains occupying this one track. And so we need to make uh, areas where we have eastbound, westbound, uh, or northbound, southbound. I'm not sure. 
I think Carson City is south of Reno, so. And we're going to join them up. Gonna, there we go. Ta-da! Okay. Burp. And across, once we get across the valley here, once again, we're going to open this back up. Well, that's not what I wanted. Uh, here. And we're going to break this line off, and it's going to swing around and follow the other line. That's exactly what I want. And this is going to continue on all the way into Carson. Whoa. So we've got this double line going on here. Pretty soon we'll have all kinds of ore coming to and fro. To and fro. And this is going to go into that second siding there. For now, we'll run it right to here. We're going to upgrade this station um, to have uh, configure. Boop. <sighs> Let me think about this. Actually, you know what? I'm being stupid. We can do this. I shouldn't have built those. Uh, let's see. We can pull those those back out. We don't need these. Watch this. I'm going to be the master of engineering here. We're going to do this at both ends because I forgot. we The trains can actually use the same station. I don't know why I did this. Okay, so we're going to bulldoze this back. Uh, and then we're going to... Nope this yep and there just like that boom and we're gonna do the same thing at the other end because i screwed that up so hold on one second here we're gonna go back here and we want them all pulling because look at all this the cargo's on this side so i'm gonna eliminate this and i'm gonna eliminate uh this we're gonna actually not eliminate that we're gonna go here we're gonna go here this. Now we're going to bulldoze these out because I don't. I wish you could put the train station and the uh, um, cargo station together. Um, and what's going to happen is that's going to come around here. We are going to actually change this a little bit here. Look at that. Why did I even do that? <laughs> Have you been drinking again? Yep. Uh, going to the train building, and we're going to pull this around. This is like the worst HO layout you've ever seen. No, I don't want to join the tracks together. Thank you. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Let's try this again from this angle. I want it to go along with, yep, yeah, just like that. Perfect. Now, as we get close to the station, the only thing, let's see. And this is going to come out here. You kind of have to, I don't think you can reconnect these like this. Can you? Maybe you can. Put this end here. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Okay, that's what I wanted. And then here, we need to join. We need to have a crossing track here. And that way, the train can get from one side to the other. All right. And we're gonna add. We're gonna alleviate some of this traffic here shortly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the routes. The next thing that we do is we go here, and this is our marker or waypoints. Showing that this track goes this way, and down at the other end, we're going to show that this track, in general, is supposed to go this way. Let's see. We get to about, right about there. That way the engineers know, and then we're going to do that throughout the whole line. So let's go head out a little bit and head this way. And we're here again. We have another break. This track goes this way. Boop. Nope. That way. 
And over on this side, this track goes this way. Yep. That way the engineers always take that route. Uh, they know that the you know, heading to the right is the way that we do it in America. Uh, though I think trains in America, I'm not sure if they go left or right. I know sometimes they go left. So, And there's that last order of, of operations there. Order of business. Now, we need to set a signaling system in because the trains will get lost and crash into each other. Actually, they just won't run. Um, so we're going to put a signal here showing that this is clear. Right? And these guys coming this way need to know that this is clear. Yep. Now, here we have one saying this is clear. And we need one here showing that this is clear. Saying, let's see. Um... We have to put one there, and we have to put. I think we have to put one here. Basically, we're giving clearance for this guy to pass through here and here, because we have this intersection. Uh, and then we can cl clearance to pass from here to here, and then again from here to there. Uh, and that means we have to put another one here too. There we go. That should cover us there. Uh, and unfortunately, they cost several dollars a month <laughs> to operate. Uh, trains coming in. Let's see. The train going out has to have a. Uh, He's going this way, so we need that there. And the people coming in this way need to know if they're clear to go this way. And then as we move along, um, once again here, that train needs to know. Nope, let's head there. It's this way. Yep. And the trains coming back this way need to know that they're clear to clear. Yep. So there's a little thinking that has to go in. You have to remember which way the trains are headed. And you have to give them proper signals so that they know that they are clear to continue. Are you able to exit? Because there's a one-way track ahead, and this is the track coming in. So, um, I've never actually seen them get stuck. It usually this usually this does work. And so I'll put one here like that. Okay, and then going down the line. For now, we're going to add one here into the station, and one coming out of the station. And we're all good and golden, right? Except for now, we're going to add some trouble into the mix. But first, we need to add another train. So we're going to go like this. and we'll, Let's watch this happen. A minute. Make sure it works. Um, let's check all of our settings. We're going to buy vehicles. We're going to buy a second six-wheel train. Steam locomotive, right? Add to cart. Thanks to the supply, silver ore processing is running at full swing, which means your transport business, too. Okay, good. Uh, close these, close that, and we're going to add three gondola cars. What happened? Wait, what happened? Add this. We got one already, okay. Uh, cargo, and we're going to add three of these. Two, three, right? Oh, no, I just want oh, one of those. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Perfect. Now, we're going to take this vehicle, and we're going to put it on the Civil Carson Torino train line. Nope. Virginia to Carson City Silver Ore Route. Yep. Now, we should see this train working its way out. Cool. And you say, Arthur, why not just throw the passenger train on the route? You can't, because you need to build station, a separate station for passenger trains. Unfortunately, so we're going to have to build another train station here in a minute, but let's go. Let's just make sure that this line is working. Look at that. That's pretty sweet stuff. So the signals are working all the way to the station. Now, once again, they'll come down this line, so it won't, that won't happen much like where you see it like going out and over. But that just gives him the ability to pass over. Cool, he's there, and our other steam train is where? He's left. He's leaving Carson, okay. He'll be departing soon. So we'll just watch and see what happens. Uh, 
Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we're going to add a passenger station in. Uh, right here. Buildings. Cargo terminus, passenger terminus. And 120 meters is fine. One track is fine. Uh, we're going to rotate that around, though, because that's a little bit the wrong way. Perfect. Okay. We're going to zoom in a little bit here, and we're going to connect these tracks together. So the tracks from the passenger train are going to go here. And they're going to join up with our main line here. Uh, actually, maybe we'll do it here. I hate to do this. This is gonna make this is gonna make a mess. So maybe what we'll do is we'll get it out of town a little bit. Let's see, maybe about here. And what kind of overlap do we have here? Okay, so they can use they're gonna use this switch over to get back on heading the right direction. So let's go ahead and put this in. There we go. Okay. So now we need to put a signal in here. This signal is gonna let these guys know when it's safe to go the other way, that way. And uh, let's see, we've got a signal here coming this way. They need clearance there, and they need clearance here. Do they? This guy's going to need clearance. So that'll give us clearance for the passenger train and the freight trains coming in. And he'll be, he'll be clear here, and he passes up to there, because these guys are stopped. And then he'll be clear to go onto this track there. He doesn't need another signal, because he's just going to go all the way there. Um, what I'm doing with my hand, I'm thinking he's going to go, this train's going to come out. He's going to stop here, see if there's trains coming this way, or if there's a train coming out of the station going this way, which there shouldn't be. They should always be on that track. But he'll have to stop for trains coming in, and then he'll get the opportunity to go out here, and he'll continue on his merry way. So... That should be fine on this end. Let's go ahead and head over to the other side. And uh, so we they're going to share a track. And in a minute here, actually, let's watch this because we've got our pass coming up here. So we've got this train that's crossing the bridge. Is he already through? Yeah, he's already through the gates. This guy's on the, um, the, d the double track. So they shouldn't have any issues unless this guy gets there faster than the other guy, which it looks like he's going to because he's coming downhill here. So let's see what happens. Bless you. So one of these guys is going to have to stop. I'm imagining they should theoretically have this guy, the, the silver or full train stop. Yeah, he's stopping. Okay, he's got it red. And this guy's coming up the valley. There we go. And there's our first pass. Now, if the passenger train was in the back, they automatically keep the blocks separate. So he would have already had to stop back here and wait. Now he would start progressing while this guy comes around the corner. So it's pretty cool. They actually work really well, and they work how real trains work. And I, I was impressed to see it. They probably did that in the last version of the game, too, but, hey, it's new for me. So I was impressed to see the signaling system actually work. <laughs> Seems like a bit of a a uh, cool system, you know. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to add in a jump line here um, to get us over to the Carson City train depot for the passenger trains. So... Uh, this guy's going to come out here and head that way. Let's see. And then he's going to swing around this way. Uh, yep. I think that gets us all the way there, doesn't it? Oh, nope. I don't want, I want it to go this way. There. Yep. And that should build us right into the track. Yep. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, so now we need to put, let's see. We're going to put a cross over here because this these trains need to be able to go back over here. Yep. Okay, because he's going to have to come back this way and go over this little section of track. Um, so we're going to put a signal in here. A signal in here. And a 
Let's see, a signal here. Let me think about this. The train coming this way is going to have to stop if there's a passenger train coming this way. This passenger train needs a signal here in case there's a freight train coming the other way. Okay. So he comes in here, he signals go or stop, and continues on here onto this track. Right? Because we've we've signified this as a this way track. Um, once he's there, he's on he's clear. But this guy might have to stop while he comes in. Now if he's coming down this way, he just gets onto that track and continues on, so there's no need to stop there. It's only when there's a train coming through that we need to stop. So uh, let's see how that works. It'll tell us right away if it won't work. So um, let's go ahead and make a new line. Uh, we're going to make a, a new line here. We're going to go from uh, new line. This is going to be a uh, train line. It's going to be uh, verge to cars passenger train. Cool. And <coughs> we're going to add, let's see, we're going to go here. We're going to click the on stations to add. We're going to add, nope, dang it. Where's the, come on, what are you doing? Why am I in the vehicle manager? No. Where's the cars? Pattern. Click on stations to add. Cars in the city. Nope. You've got to be. Mm -hmm. What the heck is that? Add station. There we go. Carson City. All right. Going to move that over to here. And we're going to add in Virginia City Halt. Halt. Why do they call it Halt? But okay. That's weird. Uh, all right. So now we're going to buy another train. We can do it from here because this is our passenger train depot. And we'll just do that from here. We're going to buy a train. And we're going to go to Locomotive Steam. And we're going to buy... We're gonna, we added the car. Yep. And then we're going to go passenger cars. We want to do one, two, three. Yep. And we're going to buy that. And we're going to assign that to the Virginia to Carson passenger. Boop. And that train says it's on its way. So let's see what happens. For some reason, I put two stations. Why did I do that? Now, he's going to have an issue, I think. But, okay, so now we never built signals on this side. Oops. Kind of important. So we're going to put a signal in here. A signal here. And a signal here. Then we need a signal here. A signal here. And a signal there. And I don't think we need to worry about... I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have done two passenger station lines, but whatever. Uh, unless I want to change this. Did it do it automatically? Oh, you know what we can do? Okay, here's how you do this. So we're going to look at our routes. And it looks like, yeah, we're, that train is coming into station number two. The other one goes out of station, or line number one, line number two. We got the platform one and two. Is what I'm trying to get at. So we platform one is going to Reno, and platform two is going to Virginia City. Pretty cool stuff. And so I would say that we've done. Let's see, transporting passengers to cargo. Oh, there's still people going to Reno. What do you guys think? Pretty cool stuff, huh? There's nobody on the train right now. There won't be for a little bit of, of time because we're waiting for. Uh, passengers to build up in Virginia and Reno, but they will. And we, do we have an ore train in here yet? Nope. So we'll, I'm interested to see how all this works out over here with our interchange between the passenger and freight service. The hope is that this train will get on to the uh, north, the right side, the correct side. They're coming into the block together, so we're going to find out right away if this works or not. Um, so it looks like the ore train is going to have the right away because he got there first. The silver business oh. is doing splendid. Cluster of pathetic shacks has become the swankiest town in the whole west. Oh, they both Where stopped. find the most exquisite shops, the best saloons. Oh, pause, that's why. The loveliest ladies of ill repute far and wide. 
Let's see what and happens. An opportunity suggests itself to spend those silver dollars. Oh no! Richly oh, he's stopping. Okay, the passenger Your train had to stop. business is the real gold mine in the state of Nevada. Good. That's good. That's what's supposed to happen. And now he should continue on. He's got the, the high ball. So he heads off. <laughs> so we've completed the whole scenario. Uh, hooray. Right? And no tasks available because we're done. So let's go ahead and watch this. Make sure that all this interlocking works and then uh, we'll be set. We'll move on to the next scenario. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video of Transport Fever 2. I know it's a little bit long-winded, but it's a long-winded game. Uh, but I really enjoy it, and I think it's going to be... Oh, no, he didn't go on the right track. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Because that's going to mean these trains are going to have to wait for a long time when they get to that junction. They're going to be sitting back here waiting. Though he's going the right way, so we're okay. But that's that's bad. Uh, so I've got to figure out how to get the train to cross over to the correct track. Maybe. Um, we won't know again for a while, though. So I'll let it run for a couple more minutes, and then we'll see if that works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a waypoint. I want this track to be this way we're going to force that and this track to be this way and I see a double signal I think I put an, an extra signal in I don't think I need this one because it's not the trains are always coming this way on this track. So they don't this they're not gonna have a train going this way, it has to stop. They have to stop this way. So uh, we'll get rid of that one like we just did. So I'm interested to see what happens, but it's okay. For now, we're doing the right thing. <laughs> Everything's heading the right way, uh, and it's working. But we want to make it as smooth as possible. I really don't want this train coming all this this guy's on the wrong tracks right here. I want him over here, because what's gonna happen is that means whoever's coming this way, they're going to have to stop back here and wait and wait and wait and wait while this guy comes instead of being able to get right up to the stop and go, you know, because they could go right now and come down this track, but he's on that track. So we're going to have to see if that fixed that. But I'll pause for a minute and we'll check it out when the train comes back this way. One thing I'm going to do to alleviate it on this side, and we'll see because this should be the same situation. If I put these here, that guy will know not to go in here and he should be able to go that way. Let's just see what happens when I put those signs there. Because once again, that passenger train is going to swing off to the right and go into the passenger station. Is he around the corner yet? Gosh, I thought he would have been here by now, but I guess not. Is he? Where did he go? Oh, no, he's still coming around. Coming around the mountain when he comes. Auto save. He's be he'll be coming around the mountain when he comes. Coming around the moon, she comes. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. And as predicted, this train had to stop here. He's not allowed into this block until this train leaves that block. So once this train passes the signal, you'll see this. He's passing the signal, and now this guy will be starting up and moving. There he is. And sure enough, he gets the high ball. He gets the move. This guy has to wait as he gets onto the into the block. He's going to have to wait because he has no clear line up ahead. So he's stopping. Boy, they stop fast. There we go. And that ore train is going to head into town. There we go. We're starting to make money again. We're negative. We spent several million dollars, but we'll make it back up pretty quick with these trains running. So what's up, babe? Okay, so now, let's see, our passenger train, I think, is at the station. Where did it go? Is he still going down? He's still going down the road. He should, oh, oh. He should go to the right here. Mm, let's see what happens. So I just want to see if my sign placement worked, and then we'll go from there. 
Sorry, guys. I know this is taking longer than we initially said, but it's kind of fun to try it out. So once again, he should he'll be heading to the right, and our our ore train that's coming the empty is that's coming down behind him will be going to going straight on. But I'd be interested to see he might get turned around before that other train shows up. So that's the case. He's got the high ball. He's clear to go. Oh, all that money. <laughs> and the ore train's coming down behind him back there. I can see him coming down the mountain behind us. This guy's pulling into the station. Good. That's what I wanted to happen. So we'll be back. All right. The train is leaving the station. I'm curious to see what happens. So that didn't work. Uh, I just put the direction signs back to the way that they went. Uh, it looks like the train's just automatically going to go on the left track uh, until it gets to the next junction. And it's doing that on both ends. And I can't, even with the signaling signs, like the signs putting in showing it's one way, it's ignoring the signs and it's just going back on the, the left track. So uh, one option would be to switch tracks, directions. I'm not going to do that on this because I'd have to switch all my signals and everything. Uh, I'll just deal with it going the wrong way when they come back in. This is how it is. It means that the the ore train is going to have to wait just a little bit longer if they end up coming head on. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this l first look at Transport Fever. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, Transport Fever 2, and it is a great new, new uh, rehash of an old game. Uh, actually, Transport Fever is pretty new too. I think it's like two years old maybe. But uh, I am just having a lot of fun playing this game, and it is a really cool, well-done game. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, voice help. Bye.